Musa Bair bint Awam and the aunt of the Prophet. She was born at the same time as the Prophet. She grew up with the Prophet and was very close to Hamza. She married al Harid bin al Harab, brother of Abu Sufyan, who passed away. Then she married Awam bint Kavalid, brother of Khatija bint Kavalid, the wife of the Prophet. Awam passed away when they were kids, were young. Safiya raised the kids as a single mother and did not remarry. The Prophet was worried about them. Orphans were not treated in the best way in Makkah. She did not want her kids to be mistreated or treated cruelly. She disciplined them. She wanted Zubair to be strong, independent, intelligent and courageous. She took him out to learn the arts of war, asked his uncle to help them gain exposure to society as any other young boy would. Her ways were firm and of days of ignorance. One day, Zubair, 13 years of age, came home and said he was accepted Islam. She had raised him to be so strong that even as a teenager, he did not fear the consequences of accepting Islam. When Zubair accepted Islam, she argues with him and wanted to protect him from society, making him reject Islam. She called his uncle Nafel, who had terrible ways of torturing Zubair to relinquish his religion. The Prophet called his uncles and aunts to Islam when Allah asked him to preach openly. She ac accepted Islam the day Hamza accepted Islam. She became a righteous woman. She migrated with Hamza to Medina. She loved Hamza radiallahu ta'ala anhu deeply like a mother. After the battle of Ahad, when the Messenger of Allah saw how his uncle Hamza was mutilated, he was extremely grieved. When his aunts Fahia came to see her brother Hamza, the Messenger of Allah ordered her son to dismiss her so that she would not be, so that she would not be traumatized by the mutilation of her brother. She refused and said, I have been informed that they have mutilated him, but so long as it is in dire way of Allah, whatever happens to him satisfies us. I say, Allah is sufficient and I will be patient if Allah wills. She approached, looked at him, supplicated Allah for him and said, to Allah we all belong and to him we will verily return. She implored Allah to forgive him. During the Battle of the Trench, Banu Qurayza started to launch war operations against the Muslims, especially the seculated garrisons that housed the women and children of the Muslims. Safiya happened to be in the garrisons with Hassan bin Tabit, as well as some women and children. The Jew, a Jew was spotted lurking around the site because there were no men to defend it. She informed Hassan that she was suspicious of the man's presence near them. She told him that they might take him by surprise now that the messenger of Allah and the Muslims were too busy to come to their aid. Why don't you get down and kill him? Hassan couldn't do it, so she took a bar of wood, went down and struck the Jew to death. This event had far-reaching effect and discouraged Jews from conducting further attacks, thinking that those sites were fortified with Muslim fighters. She described the Prophet in her poems. She died during the caliphate of Umar. She gave her all to Islam after she accepted it.